。哎，对不起 ，Maker still good for a long term home. Thoughts on、uh, Ethereum Classic and Bitcoin Cash? Okay, first, Ethereum Classic will probably still pump sometime again, right? Because it's still a working system. Whilst Bitcoin Cash, you should pretty much ignore. So Maker, again, I would tell you guys that I'm going to be buying back in Maker after it hits the lows at 38.2. Probably this is where we should be buying right here, around the three thousand dollar mark for for Maker. Maker has yes a definite ways to go. It will probably blow through at its all time high. Why? Because it's an unstoppable. Stablecoin, right? You don't have, you have a stablecoin that is algorithmic in nature. So, if the U.S. dollar or the U.S. government were to say stop tether, stop USDC, they cannot stop Dai token because it's algorithmic. So you'll be able to trade it as if it was dollars when it, when the dollar. Is paused, right? So there is the vantage of it. So, with that said, right now it's it's going to, of course, consolidate here. I think we could either, you know, what? Let's just, let's take this thirty-eight point two all the way down here. So we can say we can say just below the three thousand dollar mark. You no, know, look at that. The fifty percent mark is right at a breakout point. It's difficult, but I think even the two thousand dollar mark should is is. Is a target here? Wow. Okay. So yeah, be careful, right? You can start buying at thirty-eight point two, because I think we could we could end up doing something like this: break up sideways, break up with a maker, because maker has you know has that little edge movement cases, right? So I would say the thirty-eight point two. You can see there's like it moves up. Goes sideways, not much down, and then up. Sideways, not much down, and up. And so you can expect something like that. We could come only back down to thirty-eight point two, which is at the twenty. I would say it's anywhere between three thousand and twenty-seven hundred, and then we go sideways and then break higher again. So yeah, there it is. Maker is ready to go. Okay, next question. Hello, Da Vinci. Do you think having Thirty-three percent BTC, thirty-three percent alt, and thirty-three percent ETH allocation on the portfolio is a good idea for this moment in the cycle. Well, yeah, whatever you want, try it out and see what happens. I mean, it depends on how you're planning to manage your your alt. It's up to you, right?、Mm -hmm. Personally, looking at the Bitcoin dominance, this does not look good. This looks like we're going to break higher. And if we're going to break higher, Ethereum may not perform as well, right? It's going to perform, of course, but not as well as holding it in Bitcoin. And yeah, you might say, "Well, didn't you just say you're going and moving your cash into Ethereum?" Well, yes, the cash that I'm holding to pay for stuff, I'm going to move it into Ethereum because, because. Although Ethereum will go higher, right? It's sort of like you know, sort of like an interest. I can I can gain some interest on my Ethereum, um, on my USDT, right? So,、um, right by instead of holding it, right, to pay for stuff only. So I will probably have some USDT in 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 cash, but yeah. Anyways, hi sir, are you selling a maker at the the top? Or the bull run, or keeping it for a long term. I'm going to sell half on a double every single time, and that's it. That's what I'm doing with my maker. Okay. I、uh, do. I have some maker on the sides. Is probably a question. Yes, I do. I do. I have a small amount of maker that I'm just going to hold. But then I have like a set of different、uh, uh, set of maker that I'm trading, where I'm selling half on a double. Okay.